Jamie Khan here, four seconds out in Bournemouth with Chris Bill and Smith, the gentleman, the champion in his hometown. Chris, how are you doing, sir? Yeah, very well, thanks, mate. Yourself? Yeah, all the better for speaking to you. Always a pleasure speaking to you. Good to see you out in action before the end of the year. Those Christmas camps heading into them, a bit different? Uh, yeah, a bit, bit colder, less outside runs and uh, more temptation when the market starts up and stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to, to hit all that next week after a good win. Exciting indeed. We'll delve into the fight in a second. I just wonder, look, does the motivation change, not in the sense of you and the task, because I know you're a focused athlete, but just in the sense of you're a champion now, you're not chasing, you're defending. Is there, is there a mentality switch at all in that sort of sense? I think it's just the confidence of you've got that pure, total belief in the process because it's tried and tested now and it's got me to that, that this level and you just have full faith in it and you... You're at the stage now where every camp you learn more about your body and when to rest and when to push and all that sort of stuff. So it's, it's easier to, to handle, I think, because you know your body better. Um, so that's nice. It's a nice feeling to have. And um, there's not really a there's no dip in motivation because I, I look at it fight by fight because that's, I think, or fighter by fighter, should I say, because everyone needs to be beaten regardless of what's on the line. Um, so that's just the, the way I approach it. Have you had to stave off the comforts of being a champion, getting the spotlight? Has anything changed in that sort of sense? Or are you, are you still the same Chris Minnesota who was chasing the title? Yeah, I think so. I don't think I've changed much. Um, Ellie Scottney winds me up in the gym now, now and again and says that she uh, that I've changed as become world champion, but I think she's changed since she's won it and then defended it. Do you know what I mean? She's got that extra extra uh, experience under her belt. But um, no, no, it's all good, good banter in the gym. And, I think we're all the same people. Me and Ellie are still very driven um, and our eyes are all on, on unifications. Final one on changing, with the birth of the child and obviously your child's getting older and going through those kind of first stages of life and winning the title, does it kind of set out the path of you, you know, focusing on what you want in these next few years as you look towards maybe the exit strategy, if that's on the horizon at all? Yeah, I think so. I think you kind of, you know, I'm 33 and you kind of have an idea of an age that you'd like to finish that but I'm not near the end yet um, it's um, it, it changes because I'm camps harder because as he as he goes past now um, he it's harder seeing seeing him on FaceTime every night do you know what I mean or missing him one night and then on or a few nights in a row and then only come and seeing him on you know a Friday evening when I get home um, that's really difficult I do struggle with that but um, so the motivation in to spend more time with him is, is, is obviously huge um, and I don't want to miss him, him growing up and uh, yeah but at the same time it's you, you're, you're doing it for them you're doing it from doing it for my wife and kids so um, that's uh, that, that keeps me very very focused and driven you don't want to miss a thing as Aerosmith once famously said and fans don't want to miss this fight indeed too on Sunday night not a Saturday but tripped myself up a couple of times in these interviews but look Sunday night is the night when this fight was first announced look People kind of thought of this fight as, like, as a tough fight um, uh, with Masnack, but you'll come through this. And as it's crept closer, people are kind of pronouncing more about how tough this actually is. Uh, you won't have underestimated Masnack, but in your eyes, what's your scout report on him heading into Sunday? It's just uh, a very, very well-rounded fighter. He's had 52 fights, a lot of them at world level, or people uh, even at European level, like with Tony Bellew, that you know went on to win world titles and have a fantastic career. And he's always been in them fights. It's never got, like... No wipe got wiped the floor with anyone. Um, and he's never been dropped in 52 fights as a, as a world level cruiserweight. That is a phenomenal achievement. Um, so that and it's that speaks volumes. I think the the sort of fight you know I have to prepare for 12 very 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 tough rounds. But at the same time, I do believe I've got the attributes and a different style to anything he's ever faced. I think I'm one of the quickest cruiserweights in the world. I think my um, my punch power is massively underrated and. Um, I believe he'll be, be in for a shock on Sunday. Do you feel that you have the power advantage over him? Not in the sense of punch power, but in the sense of at cruiserweight, it can be a, a, you know, a bruising affair in the sense of the clinches and the holding and you know, really sapping the energy out of your opponents. Do you feel you have that advantage in the ring, which seems very key at cruiserweight? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel so strong on the inside. Um, I think I've shown that over the last few years with Tommy McCarthy's second fight, the, the Isaac Chamberlain fight, and the Lawrence fight, obviously, is... It's, it's, you've got to be strong in, in, in those clinches um, and condition for them as well. So I feel that's how, how I am. And uh, yeah, it's, um, 
I'm really, really believe in all my attributes now and um, know my strengths really well and use them really well in the, in the ring. And um, I just don't believe anyone in, in the world can deal with them. I was watching a fight last night and it was, or the other night, it was George Groves versus Fedor Chudinov. And I remember speaking to Shane in the lead up to this fight. He said, look, we're going to be hoping to get the knockout, but we can't force the knockout. It's got to come naturally, much like in the way of George Groves versus Fedor Chudinov. Do you, do you feel that's the same, it's the same sort of fight in that sort of sense? Um, if you're going to get that knockout, it's going to come that way. Not na it's going to come naturally and not forced. Yeah, for sure. I think um, I actually watched that fight a couple of weeks back as well. Um, and uh, I thought very similar. I think Mastanek's harder to hit clean because he's a bit more movement on his feet where Trudinoff will just literally put his gloves up and walk you down, which was a hard night for George. And obviously he caught him and just really buzzed him up. And George's punch power is phenomenal. And um, yeah, what a night that was. I was, I was there that night. Um, but yeah, it's uh, similar in that for sure, and I think it's not—it's not going to be a one-punch knockout. It's not going to be—it's um, going to be a systematic breakdown. And I think that's the—if you're going to be able to find a way to stop Mastanet, I think that's how you've got to do it. But also, I think I am the person who can do that and, and, and put that game plan in, and all the attributes and all my strengths I've got. I think I've—I've I've got got that to to get him out of there. When's the next Bournemouth uh, Stadium night? Hopefully next year. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully, end of the season. I'd love that. Um, you know, a big fight there, be, again, would be uh, phenomenal. A couple of fights that present themselves in forms of rematches with Lawrence Okoli and React 4. But then also, you'll be chasing titles yourself in terms of unifications. Uh, what stands as the front runner for yourself uh, outside of beating Masternak on Sunday? Um, I mean, I'd love, to, I'd love to unify. I think the upper tire fight got spoke about around the Chamberlain fight. We were kind of looking at that fight potentially for the stadium fight. Then we would look at Gula Mirian. So been trying to fight those guys um, for whatever reason they were they were difficult to do at the time, um, but yeah, unification is what what you want as once you become a champion and um, you know. But at the same time, I love big domestic fights as I've, as I've shown in the past. So um, all comers are, are welcome, um, but you know, uh, you, you you put me put me in a ring now and I just I just can't. I, I believe I can beat absolutely everyone in the world. I never accept questions from other people, but Johnny Nelson asked me, he said, look, when you speak to Christmas, ask him, does, and I thought it was a decent enough question, so I will field it to you. Do you see yourself as the number one in the division? Do you, or do you feel that there are other uh, fighters that, look, um, you might think yourself as number one, but they're just as good? No, I think um, I see myself as the best in the division, but I haven't had the chance to prove it yet. Mm. Um, I think people call up a tyre number one in the division because he's got the ring magazine belt because he beat Bradis at a good time and he got a good knockout last time out but um, I believe I believe I'm better than him I believe I beat him and um, that's that's within me but I get why other people on the outside will say Opatai's number one etc um, which is fine but we'll, uh, there's only one way one way to prove it and that's to, to all fight each other um, and I, I never shy away from a fight and you're on that December 23rd date as well yeah, yeah I'll be, be, be tuning in to, to that fight for sure it's uh an interesting card anyway. There's some great fights on it. But um, yeah, that fight obviously we are keeping a keen eye on. Leave a final word with you, what happens this Sunday against Matthias Masternak, make sure I say that right. Uh, I believe I'm, I'll be the first person to, to knock him down and stop him. So uh, yeah, it's gonna it's an exciting night Sunday and I can't wait for the atmosphere. Look forward to it as well. Thanks for taking us out, so all the best.